Just a very quick autumn update from the mountains and indeed lakes around Chamonix. As of today, the 4th of November, the Guy de Midi cable car is closed for its annual maintenance and won't reopen again until the start of the ski season proper in mid to late December. The Montenvers train and Gondo at Montenvers are also now closed as well, so basically, if running up into the high mountains, that's it for the year, unfortunately. The Fougere gondola is currently open for the Toussaint holiday. It's open until the 11th of November. So if you do want to gain a little bit of altitude, you can go up there. And indeed, it is still just about possible to go climbing up above the index area. It'd be very quick and very fit, but the index chairlift itself is closed. So you have a very long approach to get up there. Even the Torino hut is closing today. All the other high mountain and mid mountain huts were already closed. So yeah, there's really not many options if you want to be up high, unfortunately. November is pretty much the only month of the year where Chamonix and the surrounding valley really does feel dead. Even in spring, there's not really a spring into season or shoulder season anymore. You go straight from steep skiing and ski touring into the summer alpine season. Indeed, they often overlap. But yeah, November, it really does feel dead right now. Or relatively speaking, Chamonix is still a real town. There are still people living there, but yeah. Many people choose to leave at this time of year because there's very little to do. Basically nothing going on in the town culturally and socially and there's no way of getting up into the high mountains. All the lifts are closed, all the huts are closed. You could still be climbing but yeah you're gonna have to put a hell of a lot of effort in to get up there. It's a real shame for those who like mixed climbing because conditions are pretty good right now especially on the east face of Point National and Mont Blanc de Tacle. Routes like Pillar Sir Gully and M6 Solar have been seeing lots of action over the last few weeks and also of course on the Tackle Triangle, Sherry Couloir has been getting climbed nearly every day, other routes are seeing plenty of action too. So yeah, unfortunately they're all off the cards now for a couple of months probably. It is still possible to mix climb if you want to put some effort in, you could hike up to the Plan de Guy, stay in the winter room. I'm sure routes like Rebel Yell above the mid-station the Guy de Midi, they're going to be climbing all right now, as well as some other routes there I imagine. Equally, you can hike up to the Albert Premier Hut at the Tor Basin, stay in the winter room there. I know the Migo Spurs have been seeing a lot of action recently. The climate itself is pretty good condition. The approach and especially the descent are difficult and dangerous this time of year, but for anyone who's got the skills and experience necessary, then that's a possibility. Indeed, even summer alpine routes on the Gita Tor itself, such as the Table Arete and Table Kulwa, are being climbed. They're in climbable condition, and of course, the normal route is climbable too. So, yeah. I know I said in my last post that it's highly unlikely that anyone will be doing any more summer alpine routes now, but actually, even though it's November, there are still possibilities to do some summer alpine climbing. Indeed, even the normal route, the Gouta route on Mont Blanc, has been seeing a lot of action over the last week or so, and that probably continue to see a bit of action too. Again, no huts are open, you have to stay in the winter rooms, but the snow is pretty firm right now, the weather's really stable, really good, and indeed, plenty of people have been flying off the top, so it's pretty good conditions for paragliding as well. Of course, as winter approaches, I'll be keeping you up to date with all the expected lift and piece openings and where relevant hut openings as well. We are very much at the mercy of Mother Nature when it comes to getting everything open, of course, but there are provisional expected opening dates which have been released now. So, this year, the formal start to the ski season, weather and everything else lang, will be the 14th of December. From that date, all available uplift and all piece will be open and operational, assuming there's enough snow, of course. And if conditions allow, there will be a partial pre-opening the weekend before on the 7th of December at Fougere and at La Zouche. Grand Monte plan on opening at weekends from the 22nd of November if snow conditions allow. But I can tell you now that won't be happening. There is zero snow below 3,000 metres and the highest lift at Grand Monte is at 2,700 metres. So yeah, there's absolutely nothing there now. And with this warm weather, they can't even make snow. And there's no snow in the forecast for the next week or two either. So yeah, don't expect to be skiing in Grand Monte in November, despite what they may say. But, all things being equal, they hope to have a full opening on the 6th of December. So they'll be the earliest ski area in the valley to be fully open, in theory. The Montenvers train should reopen again on the 30th of November, but the gondola down onto the ice won't open again until 21st of December. So you won't actually be able to get down to the glacier unless you can take the Via Ferrata. The Guy de Midi cable cars, both top and bottom, are also scheduled to reopen again on the 21st of December maintenance allowing of course so yeah that'll be a little bit after the opening of the rest of the ski area you can expect similar opening dates from a region on long ski areas as well so most areas should be open or partially open at least from the 14th of december the contamine typically try and open at weekends and have a pre-opening before that so if the snow allows they may well be opening from the start of december at weekends but again we shall have to see i'll be starting up my weekly snow reports again basically as soon as anything to report but for now at least for the next few weeks I'm heading back to the UK to get all my ski gear ready, get my winter gear sorted and basically have a little recharge and then, yeah, hopefully back at some point towards the end of November, maybe start of December, we shall see. But yeah, 
fingers crossed that this stubborn high pressure shifts soon and we actually get some depressions coming through and some snow again. Otherwise, it might be a day's to hunt the season. But until then, there's still part three of my Austrian road trip video series to come out, and I'm sure I'll think of a few other things to keep you entertained as well. But if not, then see you in December.